Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the appropriate drivers for your Nexus 6P or in fact any other Nexus device. This includes, oh sorry, this excludes the Samsung Galaxy Nexus uh, in which their drivers are supplied by Samsung themselves. So right now I'm on just on Windows 10 and what you want to do here, if I scroll back up, you'll need these two links and you also need your USB cable. For in this case it will be the USB A to Type C and you're going to have that handy. So first things first, we're going to download the Google USB driver. Just click on this blue button here, scroll down, check that you read these and download them. Now uh, this, you just need to save it anywhere you like but I like to keep organized. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder on the C drive here and just name it Android like that. I'm going to save everything in there. So that's the USB driver. Just download those. Once that's done, you can you can just close that. And the next thing we need to download, of course, is the platform tools. So just hit download here. Uh, I have a link to this in the more info, both of these links. We're just gonna download the file. Again, we're gonna save it in the Android folder on the C drive or wherever you want it. This is just an example. So you're gonna have two zip files here. And they should download as a matter of in a matter of seconds. So next you want to open up a new um, Windows Explorer window. Head over to the C drive, the Android folder and C drive, and you'll get two things. So first things first, we want to extract the USB driver zip. We just you can just extract to a folder so it makes it neater. So just remember that. And next we want to extract them here. So we have all the little files, adb.exe the two DLLs and of course fastboot we're going to need them over there so next thing is oops, we're going to need our phone we're going to unlock it you need to go to settings, we're going to enable USB debugging scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on about phone next you want to scroll down and tap on the build number uh, I think seven times until it says you are a developer hit back hit on developer options right there and you want to enable USB debugging, hit OK. So once that's done, grab your USB cable and plug it in. And then plug the other half of the other end into the computer. Oops. I'm not pressing things. All right. So plug it in. And you should get a little marshmallow up at the top. Just like that. So now we're going to test if we have the drivers. So I'm going to close this for now. So what you need to do is right click on your start menu or on Windows 7, right click on computer and then click on manage if you're on Windows 7. But on Windows 8 and above, uh, you just go over to the device manager here. So you can close the internet tabs as well. So we, we should see that we don't have Oh, our phone's here. And so we're going to check if we can uh, send a ADB command to it. So hold shift and right click anywhere in the blank area. Click on open command window here. And what you want to do is type in ADB devices. Hit enter. You can see there's, it's going to run it. Start up the daemon. And you can see we have unauthorized. When it says that, you want to unlock a device check always allow from this computer and hit OK and then when we press the up arrow key on the command window to go to our previous command hit enter again you can see we're in device now this is what we need, this is awesome so next we need to check oops, we need to check um, the fast boot side of it so to save some time we're going to type in adb reboot bootloader just like that and that will reboot our device into the uh, bootloader so we can use fastboot commands. The screen will look something like this. Uh, should have a green Android. Just leave it on that screen. And now we head over head over to device manager. Now this is usually where things happen and we need to install drivers for it. See over here how we have an Android with an exclamation mark. Right click on that. Uh, click on update driver software. Click on browse and then browse for the folder that's on our C drive with the USB uh, drivers. Click on that. 
and click OK. Make sure include subfolders is checked. Uh, so that, and then hit next, and that'll start installing the drivers here. So you can check always trust from Google Incorporated. Hit install, and this will start installing things. So we're already done here, and we've installed the Android bootloader interface, and that should come at the top right here. We can minimize this for now, and next thing we're going to type in is fastboot devices. And you can see our devices in Fastboot now. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any problems, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to help you as much as I can. And also, be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.